questions about this, let's do this. All right, hello everybody. My name is Sydney Bath Lester and I am a personal stylist and biz strategist for other stylists and the founder of The Founders Club, which is a monthly membership for personal stylists, helping them to grow, launch, and expand their businesses. So we are doing an Instagram live slash audio recording for the video cast. And today's topic is we are gonna talk all about what should be in your styling kit when you are doing personal styling sessions. And I'm gonna take you behind the scenes into my styling kit so you can see what I have and how I do it. And I would love to know feedback from you. What's in your kit that's not in mine? What is something that is a good addition? Um, Cause I actually recently had that suggestion recently of something that, oh, this could be in a styling kit. So I don't have one thing with me that I need, um, but I'm gonna make myself a note so that I can talk to you about it. Um, what do I call it? Okay, all right, you guys ready? So first things first, uh, and this is kind of obvious, but you need some sort of bag or thing to carry all of your things in because you tend to have a lot of things that you want to take to a styling session, but you don't want to necessarily be fumbling for them. So I don't have the best solution currently, to be honest with you. Um, basically what I have my stuff in, this is an old actual, like, I think it's a Billy Reed bag. Um, so it's literally just a reusable tote. And this works great. Um, my suggestion would actually be some sort of leather tote that is a little bit nicer and that has like an organizational divider in it because there's a lot of things in this bag. But first things first, get yourself a bag so you can put all of your styling kit stuff in it. And then from there, we're going to build it out. So here's what I always bring. I swear by this 59 cent tool, dun dun dun, these are Ikea, like the blue Ikea bags, right? They are huge. Now, I usually pack anywhere from four to six in my styling kit, and I just, I fold them up so that they're kind of like this. Usually I'll do it a little bit nicer, and I just shove them in the bag, like accordion file folder style, so that you can have them in there and access. And so what I do with these is I actually will line them with your second necessity, trash bags. And now with trash bags, you wanna get like normal kitchen size trash bags um, that are pretty hefty so that you can tote and lug around a lot of stuff. I can fit two trash bags for every Ikea bag. And what this does is it allows me for things that are gonna be donated to a thrift store, I just put them directly into the trash bag into the Ikea bag, and it's a lot easier to haul around from client's closet to my car to the thrift store, and then all I have to do is pull out the trash bag full of clothes, drop it at the thrift store, and I'm good to go. I used to do this where I just put everything into Ikea bags, and then I would sort it later at home, but that was really just creating more work for me. So now, straight into the trash bags, straight to the thrift store. If you have clothes you are taking to a consignment store or for retail or resale, excuse me, chances are sometimes these Ikea bags are gonna be too big and they aren't gonna want you to sort stuff into this because it's like a pit, it's so large. So I actually have kind of a smaller, actually I have it in here, um, reusable bag. So this is still just another reusable bag from Home Goods, but it's a more manageable size. So I will put, resale stuff um, in a bag like this that's like, I don't know, two feet by two feet or something in case you're listening to audio. So it's just a little bit smaller, easier for the people to manage. I'm um, gonna usually do two bags like that. And so I like to immediately just put the consignment resale stuff into those bags. So again, when it's time for me to drop things off, I don't have to do extra sorting because that's just creating more work for you. So those are the two major things. If you do nothing else, bring bags because you're also going to use trash bags for actual trash that you find in your client's closet. So the closet I just did, um, there were so many dry cleaning bags. So I had the plastic from the dry cleaners. I had those paper uh, covers that they put on it. And so all of that was trash that I was able to put in here. So the client didn't have to provide trash bags. The client didn't have to worry about throwing away. I could just really easily do everything for the client this way. So. Let's get into the fun stuff that's in my styling kit. The next most important piece that you're going to want to have is going to be a tape measure. So if you are meeting your client for the first time at a closet cleanse, closet audit session, my process is that that's when I take their body measurements. So I have a really simple tape measure 
You can get this from, I don't know, the dollar store. You can order them online at Target. And really, you just want to be able to have inches um, so that you can take all the body measurements. So this is your next most important piece. The other piece that is also really important is going to be a computer slash phone for you to take notes. So I usually actually like to have my laptop um, and I like to have my phone at the same time. I have Apple products, so when I'm doing, I will actually physically use the notes section um, on my Mac because it'll talk to my phone. So I'll like to type things out on there and then I will also like to have my phone handy that I'm, that I'm in the closet or I'm do, doing something a little more on the go. I can make my client notes in the note right there really easily. So a lot of times what this will look like is if I'm cleaning things out, we're going through shoes and I'm in my head, I'm like, oh, she doesn't have any pointed toe flats. She doesn't have any really awesome ankle boots. I can jot that down in a shop session. Um, or a shop note to know to go back to that when I'm adding it to my style map. So a computer and phone is also really useful. You could even do like a notebook, um, but I think that's takes, it's just gonna take you longer. Um, so you might wanna do something that where you can type. Um, okay, now what I also have is like, a, this is like my like admin little pouch. So what I like to keep in here, um, there's gonna be a few things. I like to have pens and Sharpies because you don't ever kind of know when you may need these things. Um, I also have dry erase markers. And these correspond, I don't actually have them in this pouch because it's in my wardrobe style kit, but I also have rack dividers. So I have these little round circular rack dividers that I will often use when I'm working with a client. So we will either label them yes, no, maybe um, for certain things, or maybe I will use them in their closet to help them if they need to section off a particular part of their closet to say, okay, this is going to be your tailoring session. These are our maybes. These are your items that you want to replace. So we're not going to integrate them with the rest of your wardrobe um, at this time. So that is just what these dry erase ones are for. Um, I also have Sharpies, I have a pen, um, because what I also will keep in my kit are these little tags. Um, they're just literally branded. I got these on Amazon. I think I bought a bunch of string. I have a stamp that I stamped them with my logo. You could probably just print them. It might be easier because I had to hand dye all of these. But this is like if I'm writing particular notes about a garment of like maybe tailoring notes or if it's for a client, um, maybe a certain way to style it. Or even if it's like, hey, this is a replacement item. Like you're gonna wear it for now, we're not gonna keep it. Um, and I just wanna have something like that for the client to remind them. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, but these I like to keep in a little admin pouch. And then I have business cards as well. So I just keep these, oh, these are actually old. Um, so contact info is right, but branding is really old on these. So I need to replace this. Um, but yeah, so that's like a little admin pouch that I keep in there, just a clear pouch. And I like clear in a styling kit so that you can pull it out, you know exactly what is in it and you don't have to think through or kind of decipher what all is in your kit. So now some of the rest of these things, oh, this is what I put my little, my tags in. So this is like an old Warby Parker um, box, but you could just use a clear case as well. Um, I also have a sewing kit. So this is helpful if you are going to be helping your client figure out some alterations or tailoring that might need to happen, or even if there's simple fix fixes that you can do for a client, like, I don't know, sewing a button back on or um, things like that. So this is just obvious I got on Amazon, um, but it just kind of has, whew, Basic things, small scissors, big scissors, seam ripper. Um, this is for helping tailoring, like an inch guide. And then there's pins, safety pins. There's actually a tape measure in here. Scissors don't wanna stay. Um, so you might actually get a styling kit that has a tape measure and you could use that as well. There's white chalk in here. So that's gonna be for if you're helping them tailor, um, kind of where that tailor should make that mark if you're not gonna do those with the client. Uh, and then some thread and things like that. So a sewing kit is just really great to have because you never know when you're gonna need it. And then also helping clients figure out like if you need to take up the hem on a skirt, um, for example, or you wanna take it in, you can either use safety pins, you could use that pencil chalk to help guide and then write your notes on your little tag for them to take to the tailor. Um, and then also having clips to kind of help show the client if you clip something or you tailor in a certain way that it's going to fit them better and they can see how they can get more use out of what's in the closet. So this brings me to, oh, here are my rack dividers. <laughs> they are not where they're supposed to be. Um, so these are the rack dividers. Um, you can have my little um, 
dry erase pins there. And sometimes I will actually leave these with the client if I need to, they're not that expensive, um, but this help, can help you organize. Um, that's what that is. All right, this is like my little kit of random goodies that clients may need or you may not know that they need. And some of these are a little more applicable to maybe like a wardrobe styled shoot or something like that versus a personal styling session. But I like to have it because you never know. So I'm just gonna go quickly through this. So this is like, gets deodorant out of things. Um, it's called Skid Out. So that is what that is. Um, these are actually makeup garment hoods. So this can be great if you're actually shopping with a client um, and you are at the store and, or even if you have shopped for the client, you've brought stuff to their home um, or they've ordered it and they're trying on new clothes, but you don't want to mess up the clothes when you get any makeup on it. Cause that's like a big, huge, that can be a no, no, you're not gonna be able to send it back. So this is literally just a mesh hood and you just literally pop it over your head. You can do it that way. I guess this might, might be easier. And then this prevents the clothes from actually getting on your makeup from getting on the clothes. So I have one of these. Um, and then you could, I guess, dry clean it if you want it in between clients, um, maybe for extra sanitary purposes. And then I have a bunch of these plastic little bags that I just put things in so it's not loose in my kit. Um, What's important out of here that makes sense? Um, oh, I have these, so these are shoe inserts. This is really great to help um, clients just to kind of maybe pop in a shoe um, for the, the back of the shoe. Sometimes I'll use them to make shoes fit a little more snugly um, if clients need to size up for like a toe bed or something like that. Um, the closet, since Shannon, where did you get yours from? What, what, what are you talking about? Um, the makeup hood or like the kit? The kit I literally just pieced together um, by Googling a lot of the stuff. So Manhattan Wardrobe Supply is a good resource and then also Amazon. Most of my stuff just came from Amazon um, because it doesn't need to be fancy. So the, ma uh, the makeup hood, I'm pretty sure I just put Google makeup hood on Amazon um, and it comes. Um, this is helpful. I have a belt hole puncher. Um, this I got on Amazon and you can just help, you can punch extra holes in a belt so that maybe if a belt is too big or too small, um, you can adjust it for the client. So this is nice. I keep this in here. Uh, these are just wipes that doesn't really necessarily apply personal styling. Um, these are eyeglass lens wipes again, mostly more for like a wardrobe set. Ah, lint. Comb. This is a kind of an old one, but this will really help your clients reclaim sweaters. So a lot of times people will want to donate sweaters because there's pilling on them or something like that. If you have a lint comb or a lint, lint uh, looks like a brick of soap, kind of like a pumice stone, you can help clients get this off um, and reclaim some of their sweaters. So that's a really useful tool to have. And flashlight. Don't think this is necessary. Um, that was probably from wardrobe shoots. Um, I also have a shoe horn. So this can be nice to give a client you are trying on new shoes and you don't want to like squish your foot in and like mess everything up. You can use that to help them get them on. Uh, oh, I have a ring sizer. So this is kind of nifty. Um, this is like an old Stella and Dot situation. Um, but if you want to like figure out what a client's ring size is, um, if they don't know, a lot of people don't really know. I don't know. So this can be helpful. Um, I have another little mini styling kit. This is a mirror, so that's again for more like on set stuff. Um, the rest of this is on set. Oh, another sweater. Um, and some tape. And then what I don't have in here because it's in my other kit is um, little mini clips. So I think Manhattan Wardrobe Supply is where I got my clips. So a lot of times people will say, oh, you could use clothespins or you could use binder clips to clip clothes. Um, I don't like doing that for a few reasons. One, really just not strong enough. Um, two, the material, material on them is gonna be metal. So there's likely to be something that could snag clothes. So the clips that I like have rubber on the end. You can actually probably also get some at Lowe's. Um, and I have them in a range of sizes. I have really small ones, I have like medium, and I have really big ones. And again, major, primarily I'm using them on like a wardrobe styled set, but it is really nice when you are with a client and they're trying on clothes to say, hey, this is what it's gonna look like if we kind of take in the waistband or we, um, 
slim the sleeves or do something else. You can show them if you take in the back, how it's gonna feel a little more fitted on them, all of that jazz. So those are really good, useful things to have. Um, I also have safety pens. Um, and again, you can kind of use those if you want. Uh, sometimes I don't necessarily like to use safety pens on clothes, but it can be helpful in a pinch. So that is an overview of what is in my stylist kit. Um, a bonus thing that you could bring that we talked about last week on stories are some paper bags. So we talked about this in conjunction. Oh, and I have one more thing to tell you about that I'll tell you after about the paper bags. Um, last week on stories, I shared that I was helping a client make boot inserts from rolled up paper bags. So instead of necessarily having to buy expensive plastic ones or things from the container store, etc., cetera, um, you can simply roll up two paper bags. Um, and then Marissa actually had a good recommendation that the Trader Joe bags in particular are perfect because of the size and the weight of all of them, but you can just roll them up as inserts. Most clients are gonna have some paper bags lying around, but if you have like maybe say four that you wanna keep in your bag of your styling kit, then that's something that you can really easily like solve that situation for the client, physically show them how to do it. Because a lot of times what clients will do is if we don't do it for them or with them while we're there, they won't continue through doing it. But if you can leave them with at least one example, um, of that, then they will be more inspired. So the last thing, actually there's two things. The, one of the last things that I will take on a um, client session, especially if I'm gonna be making outfits for them, is I take a roll up white vinyl shade window shade that I got from Lowe's. So it's about, I mean, I don't know, it's pretty long, right? It's pretty long, it's pretty, but it's skinny and it rolls up and it rolls down. And so basically that is my white backdrop for me to do a flat lay and lay all of the clothes out for a client to then send to them and upload into their virtual closet if you're using something like Hue and Stripe or to put into a lookbook for them or however you're gonna send them those final outfits. So I have tried everything from like a white sheet which just gets like wrinkled and it is like dirty and the vinyl shade is the best. It's like eight bucks and it just rolls up, rolls back, um, perfectly flat backdrop. Um, you do have to be careful, like if you step on it with heels, you could rip it. It's not like foolproof, um, but it's really easy and really great to take. The last thing um, that you may want to take when you go to a client session is going to be a wardrobe rack. So this is my wardrobe rack, but you don't want to take just any wardrobe rack. You do not want to go to Target and buy a $20 wardrobe rack or order it from Amazon or whatever the case is because it's going to be a piece of crap and you're going to hate your life. So this wardrobe rack, um, I will link the resource. I send it to people all the time and I will... Um, Google what that is, but when this like video comes out in a recap and I do my blog post, I will have a list of all the resources and where I got things because it's like a random website. It's like garmentracks.com or something. Um, but this is a professional grade wardrobe rack. Um, it is just one, it's a collapsible rack and it comes with a case. That is what you want, my friends. You want a collapsible wardrobe rack with a case. So the carrying case, if you guys are watching on video, I will actually pull it out and show you. Um, is literally it's just a black padded bag <laughs> it's bigger than i am um and it has handles and this is life saving if you're going to cart a wardrobe back around because they are not the easiest things to carry they're like metal like they have separate pieces to them um and it's just not it's not going to all stay together so the wardrobe rack folds down um the top piece comes off, and so that's what I mean when I say it's not all together. The top piece is separate. So if you're having to lug this bottom piece with the wheels and the top piece and then carry your like stylus kit or whatever else you have, it's just gonna be very awkward and not very easy. So a wardrobe rack is great. Um, I actually don't always take this myself to client sessions, um, but it definitely is very useful for outfits um, when you're making outfits or if you are helping clients review online purchases or you are bringing um, purchases to them to review because you don't wanna lay everything, especially if it's new, like on a bed or on the floor and they're not gonna have empty client, empty closet space. So especially if you're bringing in stuff or you're making outfits, having this rack is so useful just to organize yourself. Um, and it makes you look and feel more professional and things just stay organized. And then that's a bonus place where you can use uh, rack dividers um, to sort out things that are like, outfits or keeps, nose, maybe try on, tailor, whatever. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, let me know if you have questions about 
what should be in a stylus kit, I am going to make a download so you can literally kind of check off and I'm going to share all of my resources where I got all of these things um, and provide you with links so that you can really easily build up a stylus kit yourself. Um, there, I think there might be like pre-made stylus kits out there if you look, but a lot of times I find you want to do, you do want to customize them a little bit um, and you're actually going to probably save a little bit of money if you buy them and put it together yourself and it's not that hard and it's not that expensive the wardrobe rack will be probably the most expensive thing i think that was like 60 or 70 dollars maybe more with the case um maybe more but definitely worth literally every penny on that um so yeah those are my recommendations thank you so much we have a cameo from my cat right there um thank you so much for tuning in i share business tips every week and then they later go live on my blog with a video recap and audio recap and all of the text and if there's any sort of um resource guide that needs to be given i share that as well so thank you so much for tuning in if you guys ever have questions please let me know, shoot them to me in a DM, um, leave me a comment, and I will be absolutely happy to answer your questions. Um, and something I've been thinking about, if you guys would be interested in some sort of live Instagram uh, question answer situation for stylists, let me know. I know a lot of other people do this, um, but it seems like a really fun, awesome way. So like we would go live and if you have a question, you can request to come on live and we can chat about whatever your challenge or question or next step for your business is because I think that would be really awesome. So if you would like that, let me know. I'm going to put a poll on my uh, Instagram as well and I will see you guys next week. All right. Bye. These things are always so awkward to end. <laughs> All right, ending on Zoom.